Uh, our technology, our project we've been working on is, is a smart soccer ball. So the reason for this technology is we want to give a, a player a convenience for tracking their progress right at their home. So you can take the smart soccer ball, place it on the ground, kick it, and it'll give you feedback and metrics of like speed and force and revolutions per minute right from your home. You don't necessarily need to go to practice to get better. Now you can just do it with the smart soccer ball. So we can go through a little drill of how it works. All right. So we have an iPad application that um, the user can use. We have two options. They actually use the simulation and also a learning mode. So in the learning mode, you can go through and slideshow pretty much allows the user to learn how to use the application. Now let's get to the actual application. So once we get started, first we have to connect to the ball. So now you can see live feed from the two sensors, the accelerometer and the gyroscope. Up here, you'll see the real-time Real revolutions per minute, and once there's some force interacted on the ball, this ball in this three-dimensional space will change its position, as well as the speed and the force newtons. So I also have to calibrate the ball. This will help zero out those values. So now you have zero values, and it's ready with the one for the accelerometer, as in the opposite direction of gravity. So now I'm going to pass this to Josh so he can go through the simulation. So yeah, so as soon as I press start, it's gonna wait, it's gonna send a waiting response and wait for that initial kick. So I'm gonna press start, I'm gonna ask Fan to kick the ball. Yeah, that's yeah. Right. All right, go ahead, kick it, Fan. Okay, and then I'll press end. And as you can see, the ball moved in the direction of the kick, right there in the GUI. And he kicked it with a force of 1.2 newtons. And if you click results here, we'll plot your real time speed. As, and as you can see, it's decreasing as it slows down. And down here, you'll see your average speed being at 4.2 miles per hour with the average RPM of about 150. And then when you go back, you can just restart the simulation and start back from the stationary position. And yep, that's how our app works.